Okay, today I have a model in CST Micro Studio um, 2016 and the, this model has six ports in it. Uh, two of them are waveguide ports and the other four are discrete ports. Now one particular aspect of uh, discrete ports in CST is uh, the properties of the port itself introduces a, a parasitic series inductance into the S parameters. So that may lead you, if you uh, simulate and then fabricate some design, you may get slightly different results or possibly totally different. Um, because of the series parasitic inductance in this uh, port. So CST has provided a way to uh, compensate that, to take it into account, and it's using CST Design Studio if you're even if you are familiar with CST Micro Studio, you might not know about these tools. If you click just below your window, uh, your main 3D window, at the uh, button that says Schematic, that brings you into CST Design Studio. And in the top right corner, there are macros and construct, and there's a macro to compensate the self-inductance of discrete ports. So this brings up several options. Uh, I use a, a time domain solver to solve mine. Um, and there are several options that you should um, consider using. The first one, which is default, to create linked lines. So obviously you want to link the uh, compensating negative inductance up to your actual design. You could do it manually if you want to. The second one, which is on by default, is to include uh, a, a capacitance um, in uh, in case that, that that becomes a factor as well. Whether or not to include this by default, I suppose it's a good idea, but you may have to remove it if your experience shows that it produces inaccurate results. The other ones are not on by default. Uh, what I'm, I'm going to use this one to consider mutual coupling here because I do have two ports in my design that are rather close to each other and uh, the other two are if you have differential ports or if you would like to use tuning caps instead of ports so uh, neither of which are, are relevant to the design that I'm using here so I'm just going to hit OK and CST is going to do its thing for a little while the the two waveguide, well port 1 was a waveguide port and as is port 4 and you'll see that they've just had external ports added to them straight in Design Studio. But the other ports, which were all um, discrete ports, have had um, negative inductances and capacitances uh, added to them and then external ports connected. So when you simulate and you do that by clicking Update, so what this will do is it will calculate the, the um, S parameters for this whole design including both the 3D model and the components that you've added around the edge uh, and this this may take some time but the results will appear along the side here as you as you're used to them doing in CST Micro Studio just note that if you want the results with the um, parasitic inductance removed, you need to look at it from the schematic tab uh, and not from your 3D model tab because over here this will just get, uh, you'll just get the S parameter results that you have from um, from your normal time domain or frequency domain solver. I'm not going to let it finish now, it's going to take quite a while. I don't want to make this video too long. Um, but I hope this has been useful to you.